Hey, if you live in the state of Indiana, you know the total solar eclipse is nearly here. We've been talking about it for a long time. There are a ton of ways to watch the celestial event on Monday, April 8th. If you love being in nature, we have another watch party that you might want to consider. It is called Total Eclipse of the Park. And joining me with details, Adam Hibschman with the Eagle Creek Park Foundation. You are the perfect guest to have. Thanks. A former physics teacher. That's right. You taught astronomy. Did. Now you are at the Eagle Creek State Park and you know a lot about that. Okay, so let's begin at what you all are doing there. Sure. So we have reserved a small location called the Hideaway, uh -huh. which we're capping at 200 guests and oh. then we're going to have staff. Um, and so you're going to be secluded uh, and surrounded by nature with us on the day. Um, and it's going to be a, a very intimate setting with oh, just a few hundred people. That's cool. Um, and parking's going to be a breeze. We've kind of got that all sorted out. So um, we're, we're most excited to be able to be surrounded by the birds and insects that are going to kind of freak out during the eclipse. Um, and we'll get to experience how they react to uh, this celestial event. I'm being sent to IU Bloomington uh, for our team coverage, mm -hmm. one to four. I want to now go there, <laughs> closer to my house and a small venue. Talk to me about ticket prices and are they already, I mean, are you close to selling out? Yeah, so we're getting a little bit closer now that yeah. we're sitting here, yeah. we're getting a little closer. In to about five out. minutes. Yeah, um, we, the tickets are $60 for general admission, mm -hmm. that's for everybody, but we're giving you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we're going to be open all day from 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. if you want to be there with us that whole yes. time. Yes, you're going to be serving food, breakfast, yep. lunch, and dinner. What are you okay. making? You grilling? Uh, we're going to be grilling out for dinner. We're going to have sandwiches for lunch and like a continental breakfast as people sort of arrive in are a staggered see? way. What a cool, this is like, I think, I mean, one of maybe the best event so far. Uh, what do we, pe we need to bring? It looks like you guys sure. have so, glasses. So a ticket gets you a free pair of Eclipse glasses, so you don't need to worry about those. But we have our own custom pairs. We've been um, both giving them to our members and we've been... Uh, giving them out to the public for donations Hi. and you can see excellent demonstration of how to wear them there um, we were even saying if folks already have eclipse glasses for the day we're going to give you a pair you can use it to take photos through your phone of the eclipse okay tell us real quick we have 90 yeah. um, seconds sure. left i want to know a little bit about that because you know physics you know astronomy you yep. know a lot of things people are wondering how to safely look through their yep. cell phone how do they do this how do they take pictures the most important part is that okay. the filter has to be on the on the front okay so like if this was your phone's camera it needs mm -hmm. to go and like this would need to go in front of okay. your phone's camera uh, otherwise it'll burn through the optics so you can see on my telescope there yeah. as well um, there's a filter out front so the filter has to go in front of all of the the glass okay if that makes sense yeah put that there um, i do want to recommend to people though not to stress about taking photos and videos on the day because Frankly, there's going to be people taking better pictures and photos. Just try to enjoy it. Mm. You only get four minutes of totality. Good um, point. You really should just try it because I have experience going to Eclipse. It, that one was only two and a half minutes. And I feel like I spent too much time trying to okay. capture it instead of experiencing it. So that's my recommendation. You took people before. You got stuck in traffic. We an did. additional four hours yeah. to get back. It took us about five hours to get down to Southern Illinois and almost nine or ten hours to get home. Um, so if you are traveling, uh, out of the city or into the city do expect some delay. I have to tell you though, it is worth it. Okay. Uh, I think a total solar eclipse is one of the most significant things that uh, a person can observe. Yeah. Being in nature and hearing how they react real quick, the cheese grater. Sure, sure. Why are we, are we, what are we Yeah, so doing? If, you, if you're interested on the day, mm -hmm. uh, you might remember those old box yeah. um, eclipse projectors. Mm -hmm. That's a safe way to look at the eclipse without a pair of glasses. This will actually project a bunch of tiny eclipses oh. onto the ground, like the crescent shape. Um, and this happens through tree leaves as well. We might not have tree leaves, um, but this will project just a ton of little um, eclipses onto the ground during the partial phase of the eclipse. That is, oh, I'm so glad. I mean, what a great expert to have. I want to hang out with you during the eclipse. Come hang out. Um, go to fox59.com slash links if you're interested in those tickets. And um, there we have it. I was, gonna, I was hoping we were going to go to Jim because I thought maybe we could give you a pedicure with that <laughs> because you need one. But Daniel's feet are perfect. So Daniel, we're I, really I, I was here. just going to ask you, are you okay that it's been decreased from 13 hours down to 9 and 10? Yeah, I'm good because at Eagle Creek, I used to ride my bike there from my house. Yeah. In Brownsburg. Right. Well, speaking in Bloomington, 